Good morning, my friends. It is time for the morning mindset edition of the Live, Build, Change podcast. And we are talking in the last few episodes about mindset. Naturally, we're talking about the ability we have as believers in Christ to set our minds on truth, even in the face of circumstances that threaten what it is that we are trying to believe, that truth, okay? Threaten our conception of what it means, okay? An example that I have given is the fact of God's love for us as his children. Now, the scripture very clearly says God has demonstrated his love toward us in this, that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Okay, so God took loving action to us at the very height of our undeservedness, right? He has loved us. He has proven his love. He's demonstrated it, that passage says. And that passage is from 1 John. That confidence in God's love is unshaken by any circumstance in life. Because think about it. We were already in the worst situation we could have been in. We were dead in our trespasses and sins. Ephesians 2 talks about that. And we've covered that in some previous Morning Mindset episodes. But we were in the very worst shape we could be in. We were lost. We did not have the capacity to seek God. We were on our way to hell as judgment for our rebellion against God and because of our sinful nature. We were in the very worst circumstances we could be in. And it was in that very condition that God looks down on us and in his great love for us, he saved us by sending Christ to enliven us and to give us hearts that could turn to him in faith. And all of that theology that I've just spoken, it's biblical truth, is aimed at helping us gird up our minds with truth, with absolute unshakable truth. And that truth has to take precedent over anything else in our lives, even the circumstances that we experience. And this is where the rubber meets the road. This is where it really starts to get practical for us. Because the cause of much of our anxiety, most of our anxiety, maybe 100% of our anxiety, I haven't really examined it that in depth, but I would, I would imagine a large percentage of our anxiety and our fear and our stress comes from the belief that this circumstance that's coming up is somehow threatening to us. And it's in those moments where we're feeling threatened by a circumstance when we begin to ask those questions, those why questions of God. We say, why are you allowing this to happen to me? Why me? What did I do to deserve this? And do you hear underlying all of those circumstances is almost an accusation, a belief that God is not acting in a very loving way toward us. And yet, if we were to stop and be questioned about what we really believe, we would say, yes, God has already redeemed me. He has already rescued me from the very worst situation I could ever have been in. Yet, in the midst of a difficult situation, we are prompted, tempted, drawn toward doubting that love again. And I believe that if we can set our minds fully and, and firmly and with resolute determination on the truth of God's love for us, that he will never leave us, never forsake us, never give us something that has not first come through his good and loving hand, we can endure the hardships of life with much greater faith, much greater stability. Because those hardships have come to us from our God. In some ways, we could even say they are a gift. Because they are not only growing us, they are enabling us to demonstrate God's sustaining power to a watching world. Let's talk more about this on tomorrow's episode.